Scene 1. Nick Cage is standing at the bar with his wife and dressed in military attire. The bar's a dive, but we can't see that in our context. Two shitbags drink at a table across the bar. I'm so glad you're back from your long military deployment. Being a Green Beret ain't easy. Five years is a long time. <sighs> but now I'm back now, though. Let's dance. Nothing would make me happier. Cage and wife slow dance, but are approached by shitbags from the bar. Hey, honey, why don't you come hang out with us today? You can dance with us instead of this green beret faggot. <laughs> Would you gentlemen kindly leave me and my wife be? I'm just back from a long military deployment as a green beret, and I would like to dance with my wife. Come on, Fred. This pussy ain't worth it. The shitbags leave the bar. Those guys are real jerks. Cage and his wife finish their dance and leave the bar and walk toward their car in the parking lot. Oh, what have we here? It's this pussy green ber beret boy again. We wasn't done with you yet, military boy. Please, gentlemen, just leave me and my wife be. Before he can finish his sentence, shipbag number two strikes Cage and he falls down. However, his green beret instincts quickly take over and he punches shipbag number two, killing you. <laughs> shipbag number one runs away quickly. <coughs> The judge walks out. As a green beret, your hands are as dangerous as rifles. You should have known that and restrained yourself. A man with your level of training and precision should have known better, especially as a green beret. I have no choice but to sentence you to ten years prison. Kate looks soulfully at his wife and then hangs his head. Scene two, cut to prison. Cage has shoulder cut to prison. Not in prison. Cut to prison. Cage has shoulder length brown hair and is tallying days on his wall. His cellmate is a large friendly black man named John. Ten years is a long time. Yeah. I haven't seen my little girl in a long time. Well, we're both getting out of here real soon, man. I can't wait. First thing I'm going to do is eat a cheeseburger. <laughs> you sure you should be doing that with your diabetes? As long as I get my insulin on time, I'll be all right. Cusack and the warden and a guard enter the stage. As an FBI agent, I can tell you that transporting this many violent, serious criminals is a dangerous project. These scumbags need to be gone ASAP, and my team is ready to do it. Well, whether you think you're ready or not, we have to be careful. Cyrus is on that plane. We didn't talk about sending him. It's too late, it's happening. Your prison isn't nearly maximum security enough, and we need to get these criminals to the most maximum security prison possible. They're going to Carson City, they're all going together, and they're all going right now. God help us. Cusack and the warden leave, and the guard walks over to John and Poe. Alright boys, you're going home first class this time. What a plane. A plane? Why? Whatever, ma'am. As long as I get my insulin on time, get out for my diabetes, that I'm alright. I guess so. Alright boys, let's go. The guard takes a shackled cage and John out of their cell and into the next scene where they board the plane.
scene three, Cage and John are seated in front of the plane and the frame, and the criminals are paraded past them. Guards bring a shackled Cyrus past Cage and John. That's Cyrus. What's he doing on this flight? Who's Cyrus? Cyrus is a real serious criminal terrorist. He's wanted all over the world. He doesn't look so tough. Cyrus looks directly at Cage. He stops. He's then pushed forward by the guard. Oh, everybody on alert! Earl Newell, the kid killer, coming through! This guy's real messed up. I hear he kills kids. <laughs> I have a little girl. I got her a teddy bear. It's in the bottom of this plane. I don't know what I was doing with that. Hmm. Fine. The guards bring a tattoo Danny Trejo past them. <laughs> That's Danny Trejo. He's a rapist who's got him tattooed for all his 49 victims. They're all roses. Danny Trejo looks over at the female prison guard with a menacing smile, then down at his 49 rose tattoos. <laughs> the guards escort another angry looking criminal past the men. That's Dave Chappelle's character. He's a two bit drug dealer type. You know who else is here? Rex Timberlin. He's my friend, he's a serial arsonist. He sets fires? Yeah, he sets fires in churches and houses with families in them. I got me a family. Oh, we got a plane full of real gentlemen here. No, they're, they're all actually pretty bad guys. Well, you ain't no peach neither. Cusack and the sheriff enter the stage with an undercover cop. This is a plane full of the world's most dangerous, most intelligent, and fastest criminals in America. We can't let anything happen. I am a CIA expert in this sort of thing, and my only recommendation is that you do not give a gun to that undercover agent. I completely understand. Use this as the first sign of danger. Got it? <laughs> <laughs> Scene four, lights stay up. The undercover, <laughs> the undercover is sent onto the plane. The plane takes off and the flight is underway. Hey, mamacita, can I bring a drink over here? Woo! <laughs> Calm down, you dirtbags. We'll all be back in jail soon enough. Nothing goes wrong here. Dave Chappelle leans over and sets another prisoner on fire. Guards don't see him do it. They're taking control of the plane! Oh, shit! <laughs> they never taught me. I'm feeling uptight and nervous and untrained. They never taught this at the academy. The guard frees Dave Chappelle so he won't get set on fire. <laughs> Dave Chappelle frees Cyrus. <laughs> the undercover pulls his gun and points it at Cyrus who hides behind the female guard. Calm down, brother. No one needs to get hurt here. Cyrus uses the distraction to kill the undercover. <laughs> Thanks, countryman! What's your name? Nicholas Cage as Poe. <laughs> well, thanks, Poe. Call the pilot. Have him call the ground and say we're doing fine. Glad I'll listen. Welcome to Con Air, boys! Your one-way ticket to freedom. <laughs> I hope this doesn't affect me getting my insulin on time. I'm diabetic, so that could be a big problem. Don't worry, brother. We'll get out of this spine. I promise. In one hour! We are supposed to be landing in the desert to offload several passengers and pick up new prisoners. We are going to impersonate guards and stuff. It should be pretty sick. <laughs> be ready. Nobody be Mr. Hero, okay, guys? Now, anyone got a short sentence and don't want to take the risk? I need to get off, man. My diabetes needs insulin soon. We'll get off. Great. Cut to 
right to the plane, lands in the desert, and dies getting ready to off. Wait, wait, wait. You can't go. The prisoner we're releasing is supposed to be white. <laughs> Stay on board. Uh, one day and two, then. Jeez, uh, fine. Two white prisoners, get ready. <laughs> Don't worry. I'll get you and the female prison guard out of here, fine. All right, all right, get back to your seats. We swapped the prisoners. Didn't get discovered. Get ready to take off again. Cyrus's cell. <laughs> What's this box? Knowing Cyrus, this is more than just a box. Don't touch this. Cyrus is one of the world's most dangerous criminal terrorists. Who knows what that could be? Got it. Cusack taxes immediately. The guard goes over and opens the box. Cusack walks back on stage and surveys the carnage. Something was fishy about that. <laughs> we better get in the car. Cusack sits in a car and the sheriff joins him. He's in a race to get to the airplane prisoner exchange in time. I need to go stop this prisoner swap in time because this plane is filled with the world's most dangerous criminals. The fastest and the most cunning, too. I don't know what happened. What happened is that you let a gun onto the most dangerous plane in the world. The plane takes off. Cusack doesn't make it on time. Now we have to track that plane because it's full of dangerous criminals. <laughs> and now they have control of the plane. Use the radar! Mommy. 
I want to help you, but my diabetes is so bad. <laughs> I haven't had my insulin for a while. I'm too weak to come help you. So that's that. Okay, Stop yeah. that! See these tattoos? These are for my 49 rays. They're all rositas, hombre. Keep it in your pants, hombre! <laughs> At least until we sort this mess out. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Lady looks really relieved. She seems happy with the outcome. <laughs> much force in a civilian encounter, and we're totally okay with it. Gentlemen, we've got our man on the inside of the plane. <laughs> He's going to be our biggest and most helpful chance to get this thing turned around. Everybody know what they're doing? We got it. Let's go. Uh, that was the fan. Right now. Just as I thought. 
just on time, the cavalry's getting here. Right on time. <laughs> the prisoners ambush the police officers and shoot most of them, and everyone is dead except the main guys. <laughs> it turns into a chase, wearing John Q. Saxon, Nick Gager, and a fire engine, and Cyrus is driving a vehicle. Nick H. has to jump from the ladder of the fire engine onto a police vehicle driven by Cyrus. He pulls Cyrus out, and they catch him. You got the son of a bitch. <laughs> it's finally over. I read your file. I got your message. I know that you are the man on the inside of the plane. I always do what I can to help my country, sir. And now I do what I can to help my family. And my family wouldn't be safe with men like this on the street. Plus, I had my friend on board. Here we go. <laughs> We're going to get him some insulin right now. Don't you worry. And your other friend, she won't be raped. <sighs> Sir, all I care about now is to see my wife and daughter. Well, Nick, got a little surprise for you. <laughs> what is it? They're right next to me. <laughs> <laughs> I got this for you. Don't be scared. Don't be afraid. We got that for you. They all hug. It's finally over. Ten years is a long time. Nine. The scene finishes with Steve Buscemi's character Earl Miller, the kid killer, playing craps in a Vegas casino. I met a little girl who fucking cured me of my need to molest and kill little girls. And somehow, that's cool. I'm free. And it's all good now.